I'm in a new setting today in my little boy's bedroom. Um, I've been forced upstairs because the children are enjoying the sunshine in their paddling pools. I, as you can see, am surrounded by fantastic casual art. Uh, it's been a long time coming, so let's get into this. So a huge shout out to all these artists that sent me something through. This has been in the pipeline for quite a while. I've dropped uh, the occasional picture on my Instagram and on my Facebook. People have got back to me and asked who did the pieces and I sort of kept it quiet. This is the day where I'm going to show you who's doing what. Uh, a huge thank you to the artist for sending me these pictures through. It is massively appreciated. This is not about me saying which is my favourite. This is me showing you what's out there. Hopefully you can head across and support some of these independent designers. Let's get into it. Number one, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to keep my laptop in front of me for this one. Uh, I'm going to cut away to visuals of websites, Instagrams, Twitters, you name it. I'll show you it. Uh, to give these people here a shout out. I'm going to go right back to the beginning. This is the first piece of casual art that I ever owned. Uh, and it was from a company called Creative Juice. So a huge thank you to Daniel and Matthew Brooks. Uh, here is their website. So you'll see it here. We've got products that all evolve around the Stone Island CP company sort of theme. So here's a casual collection. We've got the goggle jackets at the top. Telestellas. The night collabs. The resin jackets and the original ice jacket. Obviously you can get them in different sizes. So head over, you can see the website at the top. Head over there and have a little look uh, of what they've got going on. And then you can get them in individual. So this is the one I went for and I will show you uh, at the end a rundown of this picture. It's an absolutely beautiful piece, but it's the Millie Meagly, it's a 1988 goggle jacket. There we've got some more pieces. Um, the Telestella collection, I've done a few reviews of those on my video. All the colourways there, they just look so smart. Um, I don't know about you, but I love to put these up in my home, things like this. So there's a Marina 88 ice jacket, um, the iconic one that Massimo had on the boat. Um, and then we go over to the goggle jackets here. Again, it's really simple, really nice colours. Your missus might even say you can have these in the house. My partner even likes these ones. So there we go. So the main people who have done some work for is Archivo85. You see the website here. Um, go and check him out as well. And they've done a lot of work for Pocket Menswear. Um, a big retailer as well. They want to shout out Jordan at JMUK. Of course, I'll shout him out for you. Um, purchasers or users them for a lot of their artwork. So Jordan at JMUK. Thank you for supporting um, these independent artists. Uh, and their designs and sort of inspiration comes from Massimo Osti. It's no surprise. You can see sort of the, the route they've gone down there. But like I say, at the end, I'll show you their picture. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I went for the goggle jacket. So huge respect. Thank you for sending me out a picture. Uh, I hope the review has helped you on your way. Brilliant. Okay, heading over to the next up and coming creative artist of casual um, art. We've got someone called, I love this, Stone Isle Alf. Stone Isle Alf. I had to message him, he's from Hull, um, so he very kindly gave me a couple of his pictures um, and they come framed, which is helpful because my fingers are hurting from framing all these pictures. Um, it's called, called Stone Isle Alf, let's head over to his uh, website now. So here it is, Stone Isle Alf, he's called Alfie, no surprise. He's got a store that sells jackets as well. Um, so I head over there and check him out, follow him on Instagram, but he also, as you can see, does prints here. 
So of the Stone Island Badgers, some of the reviews he's got there. You'll have seen similar posters in the pullout for the, the new store here that I reviewed previously. Um, but really, really nice. The, the ones I got were a smaller print, so they weren't as big as some of the ones I've got. Um, but they come in a frame that stands up. But beautiful pictures. Um, a huge shout out to him. And especially being from Hull, being a local lad. Um, Stone Isle Alf, thank you ever so much. Okay, number three, we're heading over to someone called Ollie Burr's Prince. Um, don't confuse Ollie Burr with Ollie Murs. Ollie Murs has got enough followers already. You're going over and you're going to follow Ollie Burr's Prince. Here is his website. Um, so this is his Instagram. You'll see that he's got a mixture um, of genres here, football teams. Uh, commission pieces of people, uh, trainers, casuals, so a whole mixture. Um, I happened to be scrolling through one day and I saw these Liam Gallagher special trainers, um, but then I saw that on the wall of Halo Soul, he had it on his wall and I thought that looked really nice, those pair of trainers, so spoke to Ollie and he sent me one of the pictures down. If you haven't already, uh, Halo Soul is a trainer restoration company. Uh, so hit him up if you need your trainers cleaning. I'm also going to link you to someone in Hull in a future episode. But here's one here, a picture of the churches that he did recently. Um, but he had it on his wall, so I thought I need to get hold of that too. Um, he's got a Facebook as well if you want to get hold of him on there. It's called Ollie Burr. Um, and I purchased the LG Special Trainers. Um, very, very nice as well. You've got to frame them yourself, or I had to frame them. You might include a frame in there. But the prices are so reasonable that you can't expect to get a frame with them. And there's his Etsy store. Okay, let's get straight into this one. So we are heading across to a company called Glory Days. Um, and Brad, Brad, thank you for sending me... Uh, one of your pieces across. Um, and it is one that lots of people have already asked about. So he's from Ipswich and he commissions lots of pictures about Ipswich Town. So that's the, the club he's sort of affiliated to. But the reason why I was extremely interested was I saw some of the commission pieces that he had been doing and I thought, I wonder if he can draw me uh, as a casual. Now, I banged it up on my Facebook as my profile picture and I had loads of messages, same with Instagram, people asking where I got the picture done. Um, I didn't want to give anything away. Uh, you'll see here he's got lots of other prints. Uh, there's Portman Road, etc, etc, that he, the affiliation with Ipswich there, but we've got trainers, um, Ian Brown, does mugs as well, Sabuto. Liam Gallagher, so there is an eclectic mix of stuff there, but going back to the, the picture that he commissioned for me, I went for the Telestella, and I wanted him to sort of go his own way with it, so he took a picture of me, and he, within the next couple of weeks, sent me this picture back, so there we are, that's what went down as my profile picture, uh, I've got it framed as well, he sent me it as a, a print as well. It's absolutely fantastic. The colours are so vivid, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I might be a bit egotistical if I stick that in my hallway, but I've certainly framed it and I will look at it again and again. Um, here's his Instagram, if you want to head over to his Instagram. Glory Days Artwork. And then he's got a Twitter page. A lot of these artists have Twitter pages um, and Facebook. Always helps with Facebook if you haven't got Instagram or Twitter. Just fire them a message on Facebook. But thank you ever so much for my commissioned picture. It looks fantastic. I'll show it at the end anyway. Um, but hats off to you. Brilliant work. Okay, next, um, the penultimate artist. We are going over to Gavin Parker's website. So join me there now. So Gavin Parker, uh, I spotted him when I was looking at some of the Terrace Cult stuff. Um, 
I saw his artwork on there and I thought I'd look into him. Uh, he is based in Huddersfield at the moment. Um, and he went to design school in Batley. He is a graphic designer but also likes to illustrate. So he's sort of combining those both together now. Um, so that's sort of his background. You can see here that he's got different collections. Uh, culture, music, movies. So look at the culture side of it. Um, and there's some of the prints I've got. I've got that goggle jacket picture there. I'll show you that at the end. Plus I've got a beautiful stuff. One of the one of the pictures that my partner, she actually spotted and said it's a lovely picture. It's Stone Island but looking out into a, a wood stroke forest. Um, so I'll show you that at the end again. Loads of different collections. Um, people he's worked for, so he's done commissions for, he says his biggest one at the moment is Weekend Offender. Um, and we all know who Weekend Offender are. And... Obviously, as I mentioned, Terrace Cult. His inspiration came from retro 50s comics. You can see here Massimo Osti print. It's just right up my street, really. There's the picture that I got. I like this next one that it was commissioned for. So, for those of you who sell or buy jackets, you will know these four steps inside out. So this was done for the smart dresser. So we've got measuring from pit to pit and the back of the jacket and pit to cuff. If I don't have a measuring tape with me during the day, then I'm absolutely lost. Really nice website all about him. Uh, and there's some of his tees for the weekend offender that I speak about. These people are so talented. I can't even draw a stick, man. So really nice tea there. There's his Instagram. He's got a lot of followers on Instagram. Uh, but different sort of items up there to see. He's got some mugs. Three for two. Buy two, get one free. So Gavin Parker, thank you ever so much uh, for sending me your prints. Again, I'll show them at the end. Um, and like I say, the picture of the guy looking into the woods with his stone arm on is the one that my partner picked out that I could stick up in the, stick up in the house. So huge accolades indeed. But thank you. Hats off. And the last one, uh, last but definitely not least. It's funny how I came upon this, because when I was looking at casual um, artists and people who were sort of into that work, I spotted that someone won a contest in Huddersfield, a, de a design contest, and I'm from Huddersfield originally, and you just heard that uh, Mr. Parker over there is also working in Huddersfield, so it's a small world. But when I saw it, I read up on it, and I saw that it was around that culture, and the ad he won with uh, some an Adidas trainer sort of poster. And I was blown away by it, so I went over to his website and had a look, and I got in contact with him. We we had a chat on Instagram, and we sort of knew the same sort of people, even though we didn't know each other. And looking through his website, um, he sort of speaks for himself. I don't really need to say a lot, so I've sort of left him till the end, and I know some of the other designers know of him. Um, pretty cool guy. I'm going to show you his website now, I'm going to tell you a few details about him and then I'm just going to put a bit of music to the end of this bit because you can just look through some of the things that he's done and I'm sure you'll appreciate it, that it is absolutely banging, especially with some of the Adidas stuff and the Nike stuff that he's done. But let me just put the cross to the website. So there's his website, Peter O'Toole. You can see he's got some Huddersfield stuff, Adidas stuff, casual connoisseur stuff. Um, he said that... Some of his biggest clients are um, the New Yorker, Forbes magazine, Variety magazine, Nike and Adidas. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to play a bit of music and you can watch and look at some of the stuff that he's done.
hope you enjoyed looking through some of those insane pieces that Peter O'Toole has designed. Peter, uh, thank you. Thanks for getting in contact with me and having you know giving me the time to discuss some of these um, things and talk about you know where you've come from and what you've done. Also, thank you for the two prints you sent me. Uh, I really appreciate that. So that's the background on the artists and the art they've sent me. I'm going to now leave you with a few minutes of just looking through the art they did send me. Uh, each piece of art will be tagged with um, the artist's name. I won't put all the details on screen, but you can go back to the part in the video and look at that artist's name and find out the details again for yourself and go and have a look and try and... You know, the idea behind this is that you buy some of their art. Uh, it's not just to look at it. I would hope that some of you, most of the viewers who follow me or watch this video will pop across and just go and buy one thing because that's what this whole video my sort of channel is about, supporting those independents out there. The big companies already got loads of money, the independents are just trying to break through or maybe like you've seen with Peter, broken through and just need a bit more support now uh, because everybody needs a bit of cash in their pocket at the moment. So sit back, enjoy, look at the pictures and if you want any one of them, head over to their website now. And so that brings me to the end of another episode, a slightly different episode. Never did I think I would be sat there um, talking about art, but it was a long time coming and it needed to be done. I don't know what's outside at the moment, it sounds like a plane on the road. I don't think you get planes on roads. I don't think it is. Um, so what's next? Right, people have asked me about the pictures if I'm going to sell them. I will sell some of the pictures. Obviously they were free to me, but I need to just charge you for the frames and the postage and 
because I don't want to lose out on too much money. It took me absolutely forever to, to frame all these pictures. What I will do is though, if you head across to my Instagram now, um, I will do a competition on a couple of these pieces. So I'll give a couple of the pieces, including frames, away for free. So just keep an eye on my page over the next couple of days, because I'm on half term. I'll stick up a competition and let's give away two pieces of art for free, okay? You've got to go over there to win it. Um, like always, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, leave some comments below. I do try and get in contact with everybody. You've got my email address here. So if you've got anything you'd like me to review uh, or talk about or give me some ideas for next episodes, please do email me. Um, the weather is going to be absolutely glorious for the next week. So get the barbecues on, get the beers in, get the wines in um, and start your countdown for Euro 2020, 21. Um, look after yourselves as always and take care.